Grace and blessings be multiplied to you, precious friend. I'm Umi Ademola, and I am your partner in the pursuit of intimacy with God. For a couple of weeks, we've been discussing the three things that God does when he decides it's time to promote you. Remember, only God can promote you, and only he has the power to decide the exact time that you're due for a promotion. Psalm 75, verse 6 through 7 says, Promotion does not come from the east, it does not come from the west, neither does it come from the south. But God is the judge. He is the decision maker. He decides when one is set down and another is set up. He decides the times for your promotion. And I've been sharing with you that when God decides his time, the three things that he does. From the life of Joseph, we observe that there are three things that God does when he decides it's time to promote you. First of all, I shared with you that when he decides it's time to promote you, he puts you in the right place. And then secondly, I said, when it's time to promote you, God puts the right people into your life. He puts into your life, number one, destiny helpers, destiny announcers, and destiny advancers. Now, if you missed any of those episodes, please visit the Knowing God Media YouTube channel and listen to them. You'll be tremendously blessed. But we've got a lot to talk about today. So let's just go straight into today's teaching as we discuss the third thing that God does when he wants to promote you. And it's this, when God wants to promote you, listen to this, he is going to test you. He is going to give you a problem to solve. You probably do not like the sound of that. But listen, as it is in the natural world, so it is in the realm of the spirit. So it is in the kingdom of God. Nobody gets promoted until they face and they pass a test. So when God wants to promote you, my friend, he's going to give you a problem to solve. He's going to give you a test. He's going to test you. That was what he did for David, remember? Before David could qualify for the promotion God had in store for him, he had to face Goliath. And he was promoted because he faced Goliath and he defeated Goliath. You see, the good news is this. God does not give you a problem and just leave you on your own. No, God gives you a problem to solve because he wants to solve it together with you. As a matter of fact, the test, when I say God will test you, please, and I need you to understand, when I say God is going to test you or that God is going to give you a problem to solve, I am not referring to tragedy. God does not test with tragedy. The Bible says God does not test with evil. Listen to this. If you are facing an attack, if, if something is attacking your well-being or, your li or threatening your life, my friend, that's not a test from God. That is an attack from the devil. And you need to take authority against the devil and, and, and defeat him in the name of Jesus Christ. A test is quite different. When God tests you, what it is is that he's giving you an opportunity because of the circumstances in your life, he's giving you an opportunity to apply your faith. So really the tests of God are really opportunities to put our faith into action. And that was what God did for Joseph. That was what God did uh, for Joseph. Now Joseph had been interpreting dreams all through his life. That was the gift God had given him. But when God was really going to give him that big break, he presented to Joseph a dream bigger than anything he'd ever interpreted before. And that was Pharaoh's dream on a national scale, on a national level. That was what happened to him. You see, the Bible says in Psalm 105, referring to this account, the Bible says in Psalm 105 verse 19, that until the time that his word came to pass, listen to this, the word of the Lord tested him. That's referring to Joseph. The word of the Lord tested him. God gave him opportunity to apply his faith. I like how one translation says it. It says, his word tested Joseph and proved him worthy. So anytime you are in a situation in your life that calls for you to put the word of God that you've learned into practice, that is a test. And tests could be simple, tests could be hard, but God has given you and me what it takes to pass every test of life and that's the word of God. So the more you practice the word of God in your life, the more you are worthy in God's sight for a promotion. And so that was what happened to Joseph. In Joseph's case, he was presented with this huge problem to interpret Pharaoh's dream. And it was an opportunity for him to exercise his faith 
as well as demonstrate his trust in God. That's what tests are, giving you the opportunity to demonstrate your trust in God. Let's go to Genesis chapter 41 and let's see. I really want to read a, a lot of scripture for you to really see how the whole thing played out. Let's take it from verse 8. Let's take it from verse 8. The Bible says in Genesis 41 verse 8, Now it came to pass in the morning that his spirit was troubled. This is referring to the spirit of Pharaoh. Pharaoh was troubled because he had this dream. He had these two dreams that, you know, he, he couldn't understand. And the Bible continues and says that Pharaoh sent and called for all the magicians of Egypt and all its wise men. And Pharaoh told them his dreams, but there was no one who could interpret the dreams for Pharaoh. Nobody. There was this huge problem that nobody could solve. And guess what God does? God organizes and orchestrates things to the point that Joseph is given the opportunity to solve a problem that nobody else in the land could solve. I tell you, when God is fixing to promote you, he's going to allow you to be presented with a problem nobody else could solve in your office, uh, 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 something no other business could supply. Now, don't just throw up your hands and say, this is impossible. This has never been done before. My friend, it's a setup for your next level. Because when you solve the problem nobody else can solve, you will get the promotion that nobody else got. And that was what happened. The Bible says in verse 14, let's continue. Verse 14, Pharaoh sent and called Joseph. Nobody else could solve the problem. But like I told, like I explained in the previous um, podcast, Joseph's destiny announcer, the butler, had recommended Joseph to Pharaoh. So Pharaoh now sent and called for Joseph. And they brought him quickly out of the dungeon. And he shaved and changed his clothing and came to Pharaoh. And Pharaoh said to Joseph, I have had a dream and there is no one who can interpret it. But I have heard it said of you that you can understand a dream to interpret it. I want you to listen to Joseph's response in verse 16. He now says, so Joseph answered Pharaoh saying, it is not in me. God will give Pharaoh an answer of peace. Can you see that? God presented Joseph with an opportunity to demonstrate his trust in God and to exercise his faith in God. Because when God tests you and you put your trust in him, God will give you that answer. God will answer, solve that problem and that will lead to your promotion. So God, Joseph told Pharaoh that the answer is not in me, but I have a God. I have a great big God and I know that God can solve this problem through me. And I'm going to give you that answer, that answer that's going to calm your troubled mind. And of course, we know the story that Joseph gave him that answer after he heard the dreams from Pharaoh. He interpreted the dream. He gave uh, Pharaoh great advice as to what he, he, he had to do. Look, look at what he said. Look at what it said right now. Verse 37, he advised Pharaoh exactly as to what he ought to do. And verse 37 says, so the advice was good in the eyes of Pharaoh and in the eyes of all his servants. Verse 38, and Pharaoh said to his servants, can we find such a one as this, a man in whom is the spirit of God? Then Pharaoh said to Joseph, inasmuch as God has shown you all this. I just like how even Pharaoh himself acknowledges that this was Joseph's faith in action. Friend, when God wants to promote you, he's going to put you in a situation that your faith can go into action. And when you apply your faith, your God is going to show up for you in a big way and God is going to promote you. And so that's what Pharaoh said. Pharaoh said, in as much as God has shown you all this, there is no one as discerning and wise as you. You shall be over all my house and all my people shall be ruled according to your word. Only in regard to the throne will I be greater than you. And Pharaoh said to Joseph, see, I have set you over all the land of Egypt. That's promotion right there. Someone that was a prisoner was now set over all the land. And then Pharaoh took his signet ring off his hand and put it on Joseph's hand and clothed him in garments of fine linen and put a gold chain around his neck and had him ride 
in the second chariot which he had, and they cried out before him, Bow the knee. So he set him over all the land of Egypt. So you see, my beloved friend, Joseph got promoted because he solved the problem. Are you facing a problem in your life? Are you facing a challenge or a test? Don't give up. Instead, look up. Put your trust in God. Put your faith. Let your faith get into action. Because as you apply your faith, as you demonstrate your faith in God, the answer will come. And that answer is an answer of peace. And it is also an answer that will lift you and open you up to your next level. Hallelujah. So my friend, when God wants to promote you, he does these three things. Number one, he puts you in the right place. Number two, he puts the right people into your life. And number three, he tests you. He gives you a problem to solve. Again, he doesn't test you with evil. So if you're going through, um, if, you, if, if something is threatening your well-being, that's an attack from the enemy. And right now, I pray over you in Jesus' name that every attack of hell against your life, against your body, against your family, I command it to be defeated right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. So I see you promoted, friend. I see you lifted to your next level in this year, 2018. God bless you. Thank you so much for listening today. And if you have not already done so, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, Knowing God Media. And also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram so that every week I can share with you fresh teachings that's going to inspire you and motivate you to know God more than ever before. God bless you.